I know my friends that maybe fell were, were achievers, but fell into some substance abuse issues at times that it, it was like a family thing. You know, you must succeed. You've got to be this. Everything's an A or it's a failure. Hmm. In my instance, it was an escape. It started as an escape. I, I did, and, and you heard this in the this in the rooms, I'm sure as well. That uh, many people don't feel like they belong, and I also didn't feel mm-hmm. like I belonged. I felt quite out of place, and alcohol put me in the center of it. It gave me that confidence boost, and I I loved that feeling, and I wanted more of it. And then in the 90s, uh, I started to have resentments against my dad. He he was not happy with the girlfriends I had, so. Uh, I moved out at a very young age. I moved to my own apartment and they were still interfering in my life. And I thought, you know, leave me alone. So I moved to Australia as far away as you basically can from Sweden. And uh, I didn't have a drinking problem then, but it certainly increased when I didn't have some family or around me to, to you know, remind me that I cannot drink at uh, this time of the day or whatever. Then it became more. Uh, I wasn't a daily morning drinker at this time. But I certainly wouldn't mind to bring a few cold beers in the golf bag when I was playing golf. And I was probably the first one to crack it. So there were some early signs there. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Well, my golf game's terrible, Nick. So I was always the guy that drank beer and drove the cart pretty well. Uh, you got it. <laughs> yeah. And now I just drive the cart pretty well and I'm still terrible at golf. So I don't know. It didn't. It, so Brady didn't improve my golf game, but uh, at least I get to get out with good friends when I do play. Oh, man. Uh, so what do you think the, the, the biggest challenge for you like of accepting that help? And I, I, I hear this more, really more with men than than women. Um, but I'm guessing as a higher achiever, you know, that you're blazing your way up the corporate ladder through whatever your industry is. And it's hard to acknowledge, you know, I need some help in any sort of way. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And uh, this was the issue when I had my career, I, I should have, of course, stopped and, and, you know, asking for some help, even if it was a coach, a mentor, or perhaps some confidential uh, peer group, a mastermind group, where you're just sharing honestly. And you're right, it, it's quite typical of high achievers, and especially men. While I had good friends who were male, we were playing golf, and yes, we would go to the bar and watching sports, having good laughters together. I didn't share honestly and deeply with them how I felt inside me. And mm-hmm. it just seems that the women, when I spoke to them, they have a few friends who they can confine in. And if they're feeling awful, it's a bigger chance that they would pick up the phone and, and, and chat to someone for a while and sharing that. And, and then perhaps half of the problem is solved by just speaking up. And the issue with me was that I just didn't do that. I kept everything to myself. 